Within the art department, our main focus is on the practice and creation of fine art. However, our skills extend far beyond this. All of our teachers have degrees within the arts, but with varying specialities. Miss Andrew specializes in painting and printmaking. Miss Francis specializes in painting and ceramics. And Mr. Mowat specializes in computer arts and photography. We utilize all of this varied experience to run both lunchtime and after school clinics to ensure our students make excellent progress in every aspect of the subject. Within the department, we also have two dedicated art technicians that work to ensure our teaching goes above and beyond with in-class assistance and specialities in the arts of their own that they use to run our extremely popular extracurricular clubs. In recent years, our subject has been very fortunate to nurture truly wonderful young women who have used their creativity and the valuable skills learned within fine art to study a wide range of degrees. From medicine to architecture, to politics and economics, physics and classics, as well as, of course, art degrees. All at prestigious schools such as University College London, Central St Martins and Manchester Met, to name a few. We're very proud that the skills learned from art not only complement but have enhanced the wider studies of all of our pupils. At Sheffield High School, we are proud to provide our art students with a broad range of enrichment opportunities outside of their classroom studies. Our A-level art students attended Hallam University workshops at the Institute of Art, focusing on fine art, architecture and three-dimensional design. They have also undertaken life drawing at the Millennium Galleries and visited Warwick University Creative Arts Conference, listening to lectures by artists and designers such as Grace and Perry. We have been very privileged to have A-level artwork selected by the Royal Society of British Artists and have star student prize winners for the last four years. The prize winner's artwork is exhibited in the Moore Galleries in London, which is the national focal point for contemporary figurative art and home to the Federation of British Artists. Students have also had work selected by the Sheffield Art Society, with their work regularly exhibited at the Millennium Galleries and the Town Hall. We take our A-level art students down to visit the London Galleries every year, and we were lucky enough to undertake live drawing classes at the LARA, which is the London Atelier of Representational Art, where they teach the most fundamental aspects of drawing, painting and sculpting from life to highly skilled artists. We also took our students to the Venice Biennale, which is an international contemporary art festival held between May and November. The Venice Biennale takes place biannually in Venice, Italy, and the artistic director, Ralph Rogoff, curated its central exhibition, May You Live in Interesting Times, and 90 countries contribute national pavilions of contemporary art. We also take the opportunity for our students to work on varying scales in a range of media, and as part of this, we offer the A-Level Large Portrait Club. Year 12 art students use this club to develop skills and confidence when painting on a larger scale. The portraits are often inspired by family and friends and are displayed throughout school, a testament to the students' talent, commitment and motivation to produce exceptional work. Hi, I'm Evie and I'm a Year 13 Art Prefect. Next year I hope to go on to study Biochemistry at University, but art has really helped me develop an attention to detail, focus, resilience and a lot of confidence. To study art A-level next year, I'd say that you have to be really creative and have a real passion for art. A lot of people think that art is a lot of extra work. However, I'd say that it's just as much work as all the other subjects. We're expected to put in uh, the same amount of time out of school as we are in school, and that's with any other subject, even art. So with art, you're able to build up a portfolio and a sketchbook that you can take to any art interviews that you want to go to if you do wish to study art in the future. It's nice to see your work develop and go into your sketchbook and you can really see your progress throughout the year. Hi, I'm Alison. I'm a Year 13 art student. In Year 12, you get to push your skills and your knowledge through various exercises. In class, you get a lot of guidance from your teachers from that, which is really good. It's also a nice introduction to the A-level course. Also, there are lots of extracurriculars that you can take part in such as portrait club where you can work on a larger scale and this is an opportunity if, even if you don't want to t if you don't take art you can still join portrait club you get to go on lots of trips as well such as the london trip uh, we visited lots of galleries and we did a life drawing session which was quite beneficial for the skills section and also helped when we came to choose our personal investigation in year 13 Although this is independent, you do get a lot of guidance from the tutor-led um, sessions, which is great. 
and you can just decide whatever you want to do which is quite good because not a lot of other A-levels give you that freedom to do what you enjoy, what art does. Hi, I'm Tally and I'm a Year 13 Art Prefect. Studying A-level art has helped my variety of learning as I want to study psychology abroad as well as develop my skating career as, an, as a competitive and elite athlete. Doing art as an expressive and creative subject alongside my other subjects which are more heavily academic has really helped my organisation and dedication for the future while studying very varied topics.